Hey, what's up guys? This is Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. So if you are brand new to this channel right now, uh, what I'm going to be doing in the future is I'm going to be recording on video and on audio all of the podcasts um, that we have. So if you haven't subscribed to us yet on iTunes, um, I have, I think, over 85 podcasts there that um, you can access anytime. So all of the audio here that I'm going to be uh, producing on the show um, is going to be on iTunes. And we're also going to be making videos um, for all of the different subjects that we have coming up. Um, and so today I'm going to be talking about the five easy soccer businesses to start. So a lot of times coaches will email me, they'll ask me, you know, they have some ideas and they, they want to start a private training business or a group training business. So I kind of compiled five easy ideas uh, for anybody. If you're a soccer coach and you want to start your own business, here's five ideas um, that I've done personally um, and some of the coaches who I'm consulting with right now that they're also doing. So number one is private one-on-one -on -one training. That to me is probably the most sought after thing that parents want right now. They want their kids to have more attention. Um, that's an exclusive program that you can offer. That's you and one player. So private one-on-one -on -one training. That's really what I started with um, back in 2009. I started training kids just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, that was the only training I offered back then. Um, and then from there, I started to grow uh, multiple programs. Um, so that's number one. That's the easiest one I feel like anybody can start. Number two, is group soccer classes. So that could be a weekly class, a monthly class. Uh, that's something where a group of players between I'd say five to ten players will come meet with you um, on a weekly or monthly basis. And this way you can have a program set up where it's more affordable. So it's not as expensive as private training, but it's set up to where parents are paying less, but collectively you'll be making more money um, because now you're just taking the collect amount of money from all the players in the group. Um, so a good example is that could be something that could be $150 a month, $200 a month. Your private training uh, prices, I feel like, should always be higher um, than what you're ever offering in groups because you're giving that one-on-one -on -one exclusive attention. So that was my number two um, easy soccer business to start is group classes. Uh, number three is monthly clinics. So monthly clinics... Um, it's something where you could put on for players, I'd say 20 to 30 kids or more if you have a staff of coaches. And that's really just like an event. So you could have a two-day clinic, a one-day clinic. You could also even have like Friday night clinics uh, where you have multiple players there. And this way they can compete against each other. Um, you can have tons of different drills. Like there's so many different things that you can do in a bigger group environment. Um, but that comes down to, again, you still want to try to give players individual attention. Um, that's the thing that, that parents want uh, from a program. They don't want to drop their kids off in a program where there's too many kids there and not enough coaches. So if you are running clinics, I advise people, uh, I advise coaches to run clinics in a way where everything is structured to where kids still get personalized help. That, to me, can separate your clinics uh, from all the other competitors out there that don't do it that way. And the ones that don't do it that way, kids, and I know how kids are and I know how parents are, they're not going to be prone to staying in that program long term. So you want to create something that kids come back, parents like it, uh, kids are coming back for the long term, not just for one or two sessions. All right. The next one, which is my fourth idea, um, is contracting with club teams uh, to basically contract out your services. And there's a couple guys I'm helping right now who are part of my mastermind that are doing that. And what they do is they look to add value to club soccer organizations in ways that those clubs can't provide. So a couple ideas is you could go in and present yourself to a few clubs in your area or your surrounding areas and tell them that you're looking to build out a technical training clinic or a technical training session that's maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes before coaches have their normal session. This way, players can get more touches on the ball. A lot of clubs out there are not focusing on those types of things. They're focusing more on strategy. So if you can go in and think of an idea that's going to complement what the clubs are doing and not compete with them, but complement, then those clubs can contract you out to come train their players. And I love that idea because they already have all the players. Uh, the players are waiting, and if you can 
add on something that they're not currently getting, then that is something that's very valuable, right? So that can be easy, something that you can set up. And another idea uh, with that as well is like speed and agility training. Um, I know most clubs don't focus on that. So if you are like a conditioning expert, um, and you don't even have to, it doesn't even have to really be soccer specific at that point. Um, but adding something that clubs don't have, in my opinion, is the easiest way to approach them. And that way, when you approach them, you're not threatening to them at all. Um, this is something that's very easy for you. You can step in, talk to the director, um, and you could do that across multiple clubs. Uh, and that's the best part of it. When you run your own business, you're not obligated to just doing one thing with, with one club. Um, and the last idea here, uh, this is idea number five, is partnering with uh, youth recreational soccer organizations. And to me, this has been kind of like my bread and butter here in Texas. Um, and I've done this for years. And what I'll do is I'll go to a YMCA or any rec soccer program out there. And I know if you just go online, if you Google the city that you live in and you type in, you know, for example, if you live in Chicago, you could type in Chicago recreation, recreational soccer programs. If you do that, you'll pull up everything that you need to figure out there, call the director, uh, set up a meeting, tell them that you want to add value to what they're doing. Don't go in and tell them that you run your own business. You don't need to do that. You just need to see how you can help them and go in with a giving hand. And if you've ever listened to our podcast or, or watched our YouTube videos, like, that's how I operate. I want to go in with a giving hand, give value uh, first with, without expecting anything in return. And then once I gain that person's trust, they're going to want to work with me on a long-term basis. And they're going to want to hire me out to train their players. And I love training players who are recreational players because they have the most to learn. And they're going to be prone to staying in your program for long periods of time. So that is my advice there for those five businesses. And the cool thing is like all those five businesses there could be built into one business. And this is what I teach all the coaches who are in my soccer academy mastermind um, how to do. This way they can build a profitable soccer training business where they're training players and it's not just one form of training. Um, they can have multiple streams of income um, coming in from those five ways. I also have probably 25 other ways that you can do it, but I want to pick the top five easy uh, businesses to start. And if you have any questions uh, for me, I want you to comment below uh, this video or shoot me an email at startyoursoccercademy at gmail.com. I'm willing to help out any coach who has questions. Um, like I said, I have programs set up for coaches um, who want to take you know the next steps. They want to grow their business. They want to scale it to the next level. Um, this is something I've been personally doing for the last three years. I've been helping coaches one-on-one uh, -on -one personally with their business. So you can just head over to my website. It is www.soccerentrepreneur.com. Uh, from there, um, it's a very simple website. You can see what we have to offer and see how it can help you out. And thanks again for listening. Remember, go to iTunes. Um, check that out. You can subscribe there. You can get all of the podcasts that we create here on YouTube. Um, and if you're listening on, on the podcast, go to YouTube and subscribe there. This way you don't miss any videos. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.